come on, focus. Why aren't you focusing? Right. Yes, I know, this is a different video. I've not done one like this. My reasoning is because I'm on holiday when I upload this and I've got nothing, I've got nothing to post. So I thought I'll do a quick video. I say quick, it might be five, 10 minutes. A quick video on how I got into this industry because the main question that I get asked is, Ed, uh, I'm an electrician. I've done it for so many years and nah, 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 nah. do I need to do qualifications? Do I need this? Do I need that before I start? And I'm like, nah, you don't. The best, and well, I say the best, it's the only way I know is if, you, if you're interested, if you're interested in this sort of work and you're a spark, my suggestion is look at your local DNO and see if they've got any um, roles as like a trainee, like a fit, trainee fitter, jointer, uh, overhead linesman, that sort of stuff. See if they've got anything. If not, see if a local company, like a utilities company, uh, see if they've got any roles, or do you know what I mean? Just, they're out there, have a look on Indeed. Also, uh, LinkedIn. Have a good look on LinkedIn, because you'll find something, I'm telling you, you'll find something. And once you find something, you'll be like, why didn't I know about this sooner? Because that's what I did. So, the way I did it, right, the way I got into this, was, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I started off as a spark, worked for a company for about seven years, and I was doing a lot of maintenance work, just going around swapping the odd light fit into Mrs. Jones, and you know that sort of stuff, insurance work, pub, maintenance and all that, and I got bored. I thought, surely I can't carry on doing this all my life, so, Went on Indeed, and I thought, do you know what, I'll just put high voltage. I typed high voltage in, into Indeed, and I found a, I found a job, which was a trainee, HV fitter. Didn't have a clue what it meant. I thought, right, I'm going for it, I'll read it. I had a read of it, tried to do some research. I couldn't find anything about this role, what it, what it entails and all that sort of stuff. I didn't have a clue. Didn't have a clue. So, what I did was applied for it, got an interview, got the job. But, oh, come on, focus. Why aren't you focusing? Right, so, got the job, okay? And what it was doing, like I said, it was maintaining um, HV switch gear and LV switch gear. So my first day on site, I was like, what the hell's going on? I was at this oil refinery. Um, they had loads of different uh, substations around site. And we were going around um, maintaining all the breakers. So they released us some breakers. They isolated them for us and we went around to maintain them. And what that was doing, it was like, it's basically withdrawable switch gear, but it was filled with oil. So you pull it out, you pull it out, and you go, boom, pull it out. Right, there's a switch gear, unbolt it, drain the oil, put the oil back in, and that's all I pretty much did. It wasn't my cup of tea. I was like, coming home, well, obviously I wasn't. I was, yeah, I was coming home smelling of oil. Didn't really like it. Got a bit bored. Kept doing the same thing day in, day out. Replacing oil, substation inspections, that sort of stuff. Didn't fancy it for what could I do? At the same company, they did, did jointing. I obviously showed my interest. I was like, oh, I fancy a bit of jointing, but never got around to doing it because they didn't, they didn't want to put me on it for some reason. I was like, oh, come on, I'll do a bit of jointing. But nah, didn't, they didn't fancy it. So I was like, right, I'll, I'll go find a jointer's mate role. So that's what I did, got one from 11 kV to 132, boom, first day, 132 ceiling ends. Wow. I was like, what's going on? I don't have a clue what's going on. 
I'll tidy up. I'll tidy up. You, I'll, I'll work behind you. I'll tidy up. But to be fair, the people I worked with in that company, very knowledgeable, showed me what, what was going on, explained everything. I was like, oh, okay, okay. So and then after a few years, I obviously managed to get the grips of it. Uh, and then, yeah, that, that was it, really. That's how I got into it. And then since that job, I've been to another, a few other companies. So, but sorry that I've waffled on. I hope I've explained it. I've never done one of these videos. I'll, I'll just have a little recap of what I did, okay? Was a spark, yeah? Was a spark. The same as what everyone else is doing. Who asks me the same, like, asked me that question. How did I get into HV uh, position? I was also a spark. And I found a trainee role. That's the best advice I can give. Go find a trainee role or someone who's after a mate. A mate is basically someone who passes the tools and gets everything prepped, everything ready for the jointer. When you're doing that, you're also learning that job role, if that makes sense. So you're, you're obviously learning how to get everything prepped in that, but you'll have um, a time where you're not doing much because you've got everything prepped. So you can watch the jointer, and I'm, I'm sure the jointer will be showing you how to do things, and you'll learn. And then you'll be like, oh, do you know what? Can I have a go at doing that with your supervision? Can you show me how to do it, and then I'll have a go? And be like, yeah, yeah. Or they might even get you in the yard and a bit of scrap cable or something, and be like, have a practice on that. So yeah, that is my best advice. Find a trainee role, or a jointer's mate role, or look at your local DNO, local utility company, do that, I'm pretty sure you'll find a job role like that. Now I hope, like I said a minute ago, I've covered everything. If you've got any other questions, please drop me a message and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not very good at this talking because it's all in my head. I've not wrote anything down. I'm just sort of going through it. My brain's all like everywhere. So I hope I've done a good job. But yeah, like I said, any questions, drop me a message. And please watch my last video I posted somewhere here. And then I think you can sub here. I, I don't know. So yeah, subscribe, like, all that stuff. I don't really like saying it because it's dead cringy. But yeah, right, I'm going. See ya. Bye.